In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from an Aon Labs Z Stick to a Home Seer Smart Stick Plus. The Smart Stick Plus is a Z Way Plus certified product that offers some really nice improvements over the Z Stick. There's improved battery life, there's greater range, better bandwidth, and a number of new features too, including network wide inclusion, which allows you to add new devices to your network from a distance. To get started with the upgrade, leave the Z-Stick attached to your home SEER system and power it up. Then from the web interface of the software, go to the plugins menu at the top of the page, pull that open, select Z-Wave, and then choose controller management. On the controller management page, expand the listing for your existing Z-Stick. What we're going to do here is back up this interface. So go to the actions menu, pull that open, choose the option near the bottom that says backup the interface. At this point the system will prompt you to name the backup file. You can create your own name or leave it set to the default and then click the start button. The operation only takes a few seconds and the backup file is created. Once it's done click the close button there and the next step is going to be to remove the Z-Stick entirely from your home SEER system. So first you'll need to disable it That'll reveal the delete button. At this point you can delete it. Now that the Z-Stick is removed from the software, we'll need to physically detach it and replace it with the Smart Stick Plus. So go ahead and do that on your controller. Power it up and make sure it's fully booted. Now go back to the web interface, click the Add Interface button, and the system prompts you to name your new interface can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Smart Stick Plus and then click the Submit button. From the Interface Model menu, select Home Seer Smart Stick Plus and then choose the correct or appropriate COM port setting. If you're not sure what that is, you can check your Windows Device Manager for that. Now click the Add button. Now we'll need to enable the interface. This may take a moment or more. Once it's fully enabled, you'll see a green check mark like so and now we want to restore the backed up network to this interface so pull open the actions menu go down to the option for restoring the network confirm that it is the correct file the one you just created and then click the start button this operation may take a few minutes so be patient with this once it's finished you're going to see the close button once again reappear. Go ahead and close that. And now we want to test the connectivity of your network. We want to make sure that this new interface is functioning properly. So find that option on the menu and then click the start button. Now this operation generally doesn't take very long. The system sends out a very simple packet of information and then the device in your house responds to it. If there's a problem communicating directly with the device, you'll get a red entry in the log like what you're seeing here. Now, the reason these red entries are appearing is because the routing table has not yet been established in your controller. So close this, pull open your actions menu, and choose the option to optimize your network. This operation will create the routing table and store it in your controller so that all the devices in your house can be reached. Now, once this operation is finished, there's a further option to fully optimize the network. I'd recommend you do that as well. And that's all there is to it.